now i am going to talk about how to build axis vector manually so this is a very good link uh, good link good lab link for uh, this so i'll open this okay so this is a first zeroth lab let's give my name offensive and give any input there let's give hello so hello is reflecting in this html source hello is closing reflecting in value and closing by double quote closing so if you have to execute any payload there you have to first close this value field so see i closed value now input function get closed now you, you can execute any of the xss payload there and we don't care about the other part so let's execute a script alert one and the script tag close see this why it's executed because you close the value if you want close what will happen it won't execute because your input is will going to reflect in value field so you have to first first close the tag i close that now it's executed now try and listen one <clears throat> see i mean i'm giving an input there let's give batman so batman is reflecting in article tag okay no problem let's try to give any input there A script closing so when i'm closing the tag it's just filtered out you can you see img it's but when you close it's filtered out so you have to find a payload you have to build a payload that won't close initially and it's supposed to execute so for that i will use this vector the lesson you can say one sbg slash on load if you will use this it will filter out this now on load you can give on load value to alert one and you can give semicolon to break so you want required the closing tag so let's use this now so it's not okay now it's executing i just gave enter now it's executing see this now let's try lesson two now i'm giving your uh, payload so payload is directly reflecting so you suppose you can execute a script a script is okay script alert one a script tag close but the problem is they filtered the open parenthesis the left parenthesis so you have to uh, convert this open parenthesis into html encoding so you can use html encoding online okay because browser executes html so you can execute that so i want to oh sorry encode this sorry this so you can use this now let's copy this instead of open parenthesis left parenthesis you can use this where that was filled now but again it's not executing the problem may, may be see it's reflecting as a plain text so whenever it will reflect as a plain text your input reflect as a plain text you should huge svg vector so svg vector will load onto the plain text onto that plain text so i use svg closing see this now it's not executing maybe due to this wrong html encoding it's possible so let's turn some other link the html encoder okay. so let's uh, use this mm. let's try this encode it's not encoding let's try html encoding all line (laughs) 
so let's start okay okay now why don't know why it's not uh, encoding oops let's let's learn the little bit encoding technique so HTML cats encoding so you can use this w3 okay now see difference between character sets so you have to encode see nowadays the browser executes utf things so i have to convert utf now i want to encode this the left parenthesis okay so left parenthesis is having number 40 okay now in person used to continue and has is used for number sign so your payload will be this now and has 40 and this semicolon to break so let's use this and has 40 see this it's executed so this way you have to do if something filtered you just convert into HTML code it may work well there now try lesson 3 I'm giving here input hello and hello is reflecting but where it's reflecting it's reflecting in HTML comment this is a comment so you can close you supposed to close your uh, comment but it's not closing let's see now HTML has started there HTML comment and HTML comment closed here now its payload is executing and we don't care about the other part so let's give her script alert one script type close see this it's executing likewise you have to try on lesson 4 let's try on lesson 4 if i'm giving a hello here hello is not reflecting now understand the the code behind this see you the whatever you are giving input it's executing only the else part that it invalid resources if you have to execute something you have to give something like if they are expecting some of the url and you are not giving any url so let's give something url http colon and this is a lab so i'm giving this on a real website you can give anything see this it's reflecting now now see in such case whenever they take a url as a input input failed input input uh, failed you can try to inject a payload payload means code through a file so what you have to do basically you have to create a test.js file or any file in that file you can write script alert one script type close and if it successfully load on the web application then there is a rfx remote file cross site scripting so as this is a lab they already they gave me the sample script just copy this and see it's loading or not so if i'm using this see it's loading test.js is loaded so in a real website it will execute the payloads let's try lesson 5 i'm giving a hello here and hello is reflecting okay in double quote and the closing see this so i'll build a payload double quote closing but see this the closing uh, it's filtered out basically so in that case you can when something will filtered filtered you can convert that into html code so browser directly execute browser will directly execute that now problem is if you will convert it won't execute why after that they converting into a text see this so if you will give anything it will make as a text so it won't execute our javascript code so i have to do something here now see my input is reflecting in value field but whatever i will give there it will convert into a text so what if i will just close the value see this i just close the value I will start a new type and I will give type to image and I will give the image source 
on error equal to so equal to is filtering out so i'll equal to alert one now the problem is alert one is closing by double quote so you have to start a double quote there see it's executing now so this way you have to build a manual cross site scripting payloads now try lesson six let's see lesson six okay i, I want to do lesson six let will try lesson seven okay you try lesson six okay don't worry now try lesson six if i'm giving a hello here hello is reflecting in p that means p means what it's a plain text p tag represents plain text so you have to use then svg vectors payload see vectors payloads yes now so if i'm giving a svg let's try to svg or svg slash on load equal to alert one it's not executing why because they are only taking 12 characters so they are only taking they are only taking 12 characters so in that case you have to do something see this i gave this pay my aim is to execute this payload and in html resource it's it's giving me this so i have to do something now so i'll first step i'll begin this see they are pass in something like they are saying they pass in something like dog cat birds nose so if i'll do dog has it's creating a new instances in new line look cat see this but so has is splitting the line so that's a great uh, uh, hint to move a build payload move or build payload see this dag dog cat bird mouse so you have to you have to use has to split out so my goal is to execute svg so i will do the limited number so i'll use svg see onload is not completing here see this if i will give here svg slash onload equal to alert my aim is to execute this but it's not executing because onload after equal to it's not completing so i will do one thing i will do svg slash a a i will take as a variable and i will give a value to onload done so onload but onload is not completing so i will i will give hash there see svg a value is onload now and i will give onload value to alert so let's just give alert in the functions yes now but onload equal to alert is not completing so <clears throat> i will use uh hash there let's use hash you can use has there see this only but see this my aim is to give onload equal to alert only but they are giving onload equal to this much so we don't care about this much so i have to comment this thing so how i'm supposed to comment i'll slash star and i will give star slash now it's perfectly all right but it's not executing i don't know why it's not executing let's check because maybe let's copy this this is your payload this is supposed to be your payloads now i'm giving hello and hello is reflecting in double quote closing see this so i have to first close double quote closing and then i have to give this payload let's try now see it's executing so you have to think randomly let's try on this website now okay i'm giving hello input so hello is directly reflecting in this script see this see hello is directly reflecting in there so my see you can execute anything you can give instead of hello you can give alert one so what will happen alert one see this because your aim is to execute a script alert one you are just executing yes now try this 
if I'm giving a hello here, hello is reflecting, yes? No. It's in also it's also in plain text, okay? So you giving input challenge 15. You are giving input hello and hello is reflecting in this and it's reflecting in P plain text. In that case, you have to execute what? SVG context payload. SVG vectors. Now see. <clears throat> I have to build something now so I'm building SVG let's try to execute the SVG script alert one script type close but the problem is again they are taking only 15 characters not more than that so I have to use hash so I'll give hash on every hash to separate this let's give hash see this but the problem is I have to execute SVG after the SVG I have to execute script I don't want this now I don't want this so I have to make comment before has and I have to close comment after has so I'll use slash star but slash star is filtering here so you cannot use slash star so let's use another type of comment this yes now you can close your comment there see this so this will become a comment now SVG script now you can execute this also you can give comment there also see SVG script this become a comment now alert one now you can give comment there also see this now why it's not executing check this oh SVG is perfectly alright okay maybe my input let's copy this now okay let's give a hello here so hello is reflecting where double quote closing yes so I have to use double quote closing and then our payload let's copy this see this it's executing our payload so you try to practice onto these websites okay so I hope it's clear to you not do no problem okay we'll have a lots of series of cross size scriptings it will clear your complete or we have a discussion session also or I'm just uh, giving you this notepad this will help you on that live to success your execution steps.